Hi, I'm Carrie Murphy, and welcome to Inspired Living TV, where we inspire lives and help entrepreneurs become industry icons. And if you are someone who really wants to make a big difference in the world, you want to make great money and a great impact, this video is a must watch because I'm going to be talking about how to book those speaking engagements that I know you want so badly. You know, part of how I grew Inspired Living was by speaking, and it's still a huge part of my business model. People ask me all the time, Carrie, how do I book speaking engagements? So in this video, I'm going to give you the top tips on how to really get those engagements on big stages and on small. Now, the first thing I want to ask you is, do you have a signature talk? Something that is specific to you that really talks about the result that only you can get people. Now, please do not have your signature talk titled something like how to make your dreams come true. Now, as wonderful as that sounds, no one's going to book that talk title. <laughs> you want something specific, actionable, and results oriented. So my signature talk that I have been using for years is how to become the go-to celebrity expert in your industry using video. I know it's a bit of a long title, but it gets me booked because it's specific and it complements a lot of different business events and people know exactly what my expertise is when I come. So for you to really stand out in this very crowded world, everyone wants to be a speaker, find a topic that is specific to the result that only you can provide. Now, once you have this signature talk, then you get to start marketing it. And it's not actually as scary or overwhelming as you think. You don't need to go out there and get a booking agent or hire a entourage to help you get booked at speaking events. I actually think in the beginning, it's really nice to make that personal um, input and personal impact by just picking up the phone and talking to people or emailing people. So when you're starting your speaking, I, I always have my clients put together a list of both local events and larger events that really fit their niche and demographic. So you have to know who your ideal client is because if you go to an event that isn't your ideal client, no matter how fabulous you are, you're not going to get any sales. And let's face it, when we speak, we wanna enroll people and do our products or services. So be very clear on the types of events and people that you wanna go speak to. Now, once you have this beautiful list of, of different events and organizations together, then you can start reaching out. Now, you don't have to speak on a big stage to make a big impact. When I started out in Portland, Oregon, I was speaking at little lunch and learns, kind of like the B&Is that you probably know so well. I had 20 minutes to talk about how to use video, but it was from that 20 minutes that I got on huge stages and I have now spoken in front of thousands and host my own events. So don't be too prideful and think that you're too big to go speak at those small networking groups. You get to hone your talk, you get to get really good at it, and you get to see who takes action. Amazing, right? Because if no one's taking action, you probably wanna change up your signature talk. So once you get some of these 20 minute and smaller events under your belt, that will give you the confidence to reach out to the bigger guys. Now, some tips for you around this. Please know their audience, know what they do, and approach them from the position of how can I serve you? When I used to run the Oregon Women's Conference, I would have hundreds of people apply. And a lot of times it was like, hey, I'm a great speaker, you should hire me. Well, that's great, but how are you going to come serve my audience? So be very clear and do the research, do your due diligence, know who you're speaking to and know what their audience is coming for. And that way you can approach them and say, hey, I have a talk I think will really compliment your event and really serve your audience. Now there are different types of speaking engagements. I know everyone wants to make that $20,000 to go do the keynote. <laughs> and as fabulous as that would be, those don't come around too often even if you are an industry icon. So keynotes are great. Keynotes are where you go get paid to speak on a certain topic. Now, when you are a keynote, you're usually not selling or offering anything from the stage. You're simply sharing your expertise to the audience. These are wonderful. These are wonderful to build your brand, to really position you as an authority. But again, they're harder to come by these days because they can hire a celebrity to come in versus someone maybe who's just starting out. So there are other ways to get paid as a speaker besides actually a keynote. Do you wanna know what they are? Okay, now the first one is actually speaking for free. 
what, what, did I say that? Yes, go speak for free. Why? Because when you're really great at what you do, you're gonna make money regardless. People will seek you out. And if you know how to craft your signature talk, in a way that people want to take action at the end and go buy your product or service. When you speak for free, you can walk away with 10,000, 20,000, 70,000 in just sales from that audience. So don't be afraid to speak for free. I say there's no such thing as a free speaking engagement, whether you're speaking to five people or 5,000 people. Take advantage of that opportunity because you will get clients by going out and sharing your message when you know what you're doing. Now, one of the ways that I've built Inspired Living as well is by paying to speak. Yes, that's right, actually paying to be on someone else's stage. You know what's amazing about that? I don't have to fill the room. I don't have to have my team there. I don't have to do the heavy lifting. All I get to do is show up and present my message to my ideal target market. Now this can be very costly, as I've learned, when you're not in front of the right group. So again, you wanna do your due diligence. But if people are asking you to pay to be on their stage, I think that's very fair if, in return, you get to then offer your products and services. So there's keynotes, there's free, and there's what I call pay to play. Those are all different ways to really um, get out there as a speaker. And again, don't be afraid to speak for free. It can be a great way to build your audience, build your confidence, and increase your income. Now, the last tip I wanna give you is when you are booking yourself or trying to, trying to get booked as a speaker, it is very helpful when you show up as an authority. What does that mean? It means have a great headshot, have a great bio, you don't need a one sheet. A one sheet is a PDF or what we call an EPK that is an electronic press kit that you can send the organization or the person who is booking speakers that just helps you rise to the top. I booked a lot of speaking engagements before I had a one sheet and a media kit. But if you put something together like that, you are going to stand out hands over someone who doesn't. So invest in your collateral, invest in your branding, and really understand who you serve and why you wanna go speak at that event. So I would love to hear from you. Are you a speaker already? Please post your comments below. And if any of these tips helped you out, I would love to hear from you. And if you need help with putting any of your speaker collateral together, feel free to reach out to us at Inspired Living. We have a whole team of branding experts that can help you put that one sheet and media kit together. You can email us at hello at inspiredliving.tv. And in speaking of Inspired Living TV, do you want more inspiration? <laughs> if you do, head over to inspiredliving.tv and sign up to become part of our community. We would love to have you. Don't give up on those dreams and get out there and start speaking today. Don't wait for someone to find you. You go out there and be proactive and stop being the best kept secret. Wishing you the most success. And as always, remember to keep dreaming it, living it, and being it. Until next time.